guys. Um, it's Triumph or Evan. Um, just according to a little tutorial for you guys. I like to keep these short and pretty basic as, and then I guess in the future work my way up to uh, more in-depth uh, modeling. This one's more for how I uh, get my references for my models and how I input them into Cinema 4D. So basically how I scale all the photos in Cinema 4D. Um, let's get into this. So I usually start with a cube as this helps me scale everything. Um, let's just pretend this is a mouse and the, this is on a table. So the mouse is going to be longer that way and shorter. And so that helps me differentiate um, which side I'm going to have to look at. So then I want to go up to the top here, top right, and click the window. That will show you all of your other perspectives. And these are where you're going to put the photos. Um, so obviously, uh, on the right here, it's showing us the long side and shorter. So we're going to need to put the side of the mouse there. So what you want to do is you want to go to Options, um, go down to Configure, and we want it to be at the back so we click the back here and that's us for the image you just want to click the three dots I have a folder of all of my images uh, let's just say this is the I guess the razor down back so I'm um, actually yeah this is the down back so I'm gonna click that as you can see here it shows up um, so let's make sure it's to scale so um, for modeling I like to keep it where um, the models, the, or at least the photo that I'm basing the model off of is like technically on a floor. So right now I want the center line of the um, x-axis to be considered the floor. So over here on the far right, you should see rotation um, and scale of the image. Um, so at least for offset Y, that's moving it up. You just want to drag that and move the image up so right now it's touching the x-axis which is what I want and now let's get the our cube to scale of this we'll just base everything off of this image so I just want to make it the same length let me just play with that and make sure the cubes also touching the zero there and then I'll drag this up. And how is this looking? Perfect. Okay, so right now, as you can see, the highlights, if you can make them out, uh, it's to the very ends of the side, and then it's at the bottom and the very top. So just giving us the basic shape. And now let's, let's do... Which other images do I have of the Mamba? Okay, so I have the top now. That's the other perspective I have. So obviously this here would be the front or the back, considering how small it is. This must be the top, so let's again do options. Let's go to configure. We're already on back. Let's click the three dots, and let's select our reference here. Let me just figure out which way this needs to be. Um, so as you can see, this line I'm moving right here, I can see which side is moving. So on this picture, this line here is at the front where the clickers are. Here it's towards the back. So I have to flip this image around. So again, let's click oh, click on that window and change the rotation. The rotation would be 180 then. That switches it around. So we know that the length is already fitted to this image. So let's change the scale on this image so the length is right there. Um, so usually this keeps the sh shape. You don't have to worry about the, it being distorted, the ratio or anything. Just drag it down. So then again, change with the Y so we can center it. There we go. Let's move this down a little bit. So the, it's touching the very tip of that and there. And so, again, I, I always start with a cube when modeling as well, so let's just make it the same width. So, again, just drag these out to the very edges. 
Okay, so as you can see right there, the mouse is it is centered, but on this side it is um missed the mark because I think it's is it an ad, ad whatever for the left and right. I think it is, but again, let's just drag this in here. There, so we have our two images. Um, if you were to have one of the front, which a lot of for headsets they do have ones from the front, but mice not so much. Um, you would put it here. Um, I guess let's just quickly go through how I usually start. Um, I usually get I start always start with the side. Usually, I usually get a knife tool. I put it on loop mo loop mode. Um, I usually uncheck restrict from selection, so I don't have to worry about selecting the faces. I usually just um, do a bunch of cuts on the side here. Try and make them equal. I'm just doing this fast. And then you just make the basic shape. So I'm going to just select this line here. And I'm going uh, to drag it down to where it needs to be. There, it's touching there. Boom. Next. Boom. Boom. It's already touching. It's go over here oh my bad there we basically already have basic shape of the mouse then I I do a bunch of sculpting or not I wouldn't call it sculpting I just play around like I move lines stuff like that until I get the basic shape and then at the end of all of that I drag the basic chiseled shape into sub D I can't I'll probably go into way more in depth than that in the future that's probably gonna have to be a series a lot of what a model is playing around like I've still hit speed bumps where I'm unable to recreate a product properly because of the shape but I'm getting a lot better I'm still learning but yeah I hope this tutorial helped you guys in the modeling models you're doing right now um, I know I had to figure figure out how to do this, and once I did, it helped me so much. Um, but make sure to leave in the comments what tutorials you'd like to see next, what your guys are struggling with, and I can definitely do tutorials on those. But yeah, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, guys.